Dan Smith here, director. I'll be doing some audio commentary for this re-release of the movie. Oh, uh, wait, not yet. Sorry, sir, this is just the DVD menu. The movie hasn't started yet. Hello everybody, it's your host QED20 and welcome to a new Let's Play of The Deadly Tower of Monsters. Uh, this came out I think just today on Steam and it seems really hilarious. It's this super meta 70s B-movie sort of action game that is about a director narrating about a re-release of some ridiculous movie from the 70s. So I'm really excited to play through this. Let's give it a shot. Let's press any button and let's start. Well, I see you dug up the original movie poster. Oh boy, that takes me back. So, <laughs> I'm gonna start the commentary track now. This is great. I mean, I don't really have to do any talking because there's already commentary on the game. All right, let's start a new game. Oh, this is exciting. So, good news, I got a 1080p uh, panel now, so we're all in 1080p now. No more 720p. Well, it was actually 900p, but I had to... Anyway, I'll stop talking. Welcome to the Deadly Tower of Monsters. Hello, Dan Smith here. I directed this film back in, uh, well... It feels like a century ago. Yeah. The studio asked me to provide a commentary track for the DVD release. And wham! Straight into the action. No fluff or anything. That's what we did back then. <laughs> Crash landed ship. Out pops our hero, the fearless Dick Starspy. Looks a lot like Elvis smooshed with, uh, with a bit of Sean Connery there. Maybe a little bit of Marlon Brando. Okay, I have no idea what to do in this game. I, this is a blind playthrough. Oh, okay. Use Waz to move around. Smash things with the left mouse button. The ship's velocity reactor is damaged. I believe that I'm stranded on an alien planet. Oh, you don't say. Astute observation. By actor Jonathan Digby. Went on to some minor roles after this. Uh, such a shame. I thought from day one this guy's got leading man written all over his face. Oh man, this is, this looks pretty good, like, I'm excited to see what this is going to be like, it's a, it's, a, it looks like it's a clicky kind of, you know, action adventure RPG sort of game. Oh, we got some alien foes to kick ass. Greetings, citizens of Gravoria. I am Dick Starspeed, and I come in peace. Probably shouldn't have had Dick oh man, oh. I love the, uh, the, eight, or the VHS filter that's on it. Personally, I'm really excited to see all the uh, the sci-fi references this game inevitably will have. Oh man, <laughs> this is awesome. There's pterodactyls. Oh no, I better watch out for the pterodactyls. <laughs> what the? F this is amazing. Okay. If I land squarely on that grain silo, I should survive this fall unscathed. I do hope so, Dick Starspeed. Uh, I should aim. Now, but you could actually see the strings if you squinted hard enough. Oh yeah, we landed without a hitch. Trick from back in the old days. You put a grain silo or some haystacks down and it solves all your gravity related problems. So we're just gonna go ahead and smash the crap out of everything in order to collect as many collectibles as Oh, what is this? Silver cog? Don't know what that is. So we can dodge with left shift, attack with left mouse button, and then oh. some of my equipment was lost when my ship was shot down. But what luck. This high-tech scanner reports that my ray gun is nearby. Ooh, excellent. So I guess we're gonna find a secondary weapon. Uh, no point in... It looks really good. It has this really awesome VHS filter. And I really like that. This is awesome. Oh no. Oh, the dinosaurs. You just don't see quality stop motion like this. Oh my goodness, they're in stop motion. Someone <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is hilarious. You can see how they're stop motion. This is amazing. Oh, the subtle, the, uh, just the sheer, you know, amusement I'm getting from playing this game is, is pretty awesome. 
Okay, so... Ah, oh, there's something there. Awesome, we got the ray gun now. Oh, we can charge it up. Snag some health. Uh-oh. What? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, not the Stegosaurus. Oh, he got us good. We gotta recharge our ray gun, so our ray gun has a limited amount of recharge. We got him good. We got him real good. Seriously, the stop motion is an amazing touch. I'm really, I'm really enjoying it so far. The music is pretty good too. Nothing over there. Oh no, monkeys. All the movie references. Planet of the Apes already? As usual, the local population is defenseless. That's where our hero steps in and saves the day. Another silver cog. I, I think that they might be like collectible items you could use uh, as a form of currency. I know there's gold here that we're collecting. Oh, oh wow. He got us good. Take care of him with our ray gun. I like the ray gun a lot. Oh, he's got a ray gun too. Oh, <laughs> not a ray gun, but a... Got something there. He had a ray bow and arrow. Neat. Oh, ouch. Ouch. <laughs> the only way to get an honest performance sometimes. Our props master tried to make the weapon soft, but there's only so much you can do. Lucky for us, Nick's entire body was covered in that spacesuit. That thing was a lifesaver when it came to hiding bruises. Oh snap. Not a, uh, now we have blue cogs. Don't know what they're good for yet, but we'll find out shortly. Dun dun dun! You notice the gold disappears when Dick touches it. We had a deleted scene that explained he's actually teleporting it back to his ship. It's funny, no one ever questioned how Dick was able to walk around with an infinite amount of gold on him. <laughs> I'm loving all the fourth wall breaks and the meta nests and this is this is great. I'm gonna I'll stop talking about how great it is and just play it. <laughs> you know you never forget the smell of monkey poo. We steam clean the studio top to bottom. Still never got rid of it entirely. All <laughs> through the rest of the shot, we kept finding those little surprises hiding inside various props. Boy, <laughs> boy are those the days. That was amazing, but are you brave enough to climb up to the altar? Yeah, I am. I'm Dick Starship, or Starspeed, or Starshine, or whatever my last name is. The great Mega Gorilla approaches. Oh wait, that's that's not my voice. That's their voice. Uh oh. What is the Mega? Oh, it's also stop motion. <laughs> Oh, we've got a new, uh, new protagonist. Oh! Oh, this is groundbreaking. We had the woman rescuing the man for one. 
Oh, sweet. Multiple playable ca characters? What is, what is my special power? I'd like to use it. Oh, cool. Ouch. <laughs> the stop motion effects are fantastic. Looks like a. This is just a hodgepodge of all sorts of sci fi. If you're a fan of B movies from the era, oh boy, you, you gotta check this out. Thank you for saving me, strange woman. What is your name? I am the magnificent Scarlet Nova. Ah, yes. I've heard of her. Okay, you you go ahead. Uh, is there anything else that we can take a look on this level? Nope. So we'll be seeing our first example of teleportation being used by Scarlet right here. I wonder what happens if we go against the narrator. As soon as this current shot ends. This is okay. Is he gonna continue? Which should be happening any second now. Okay, that's all he's going to say, I suppose. Alright, teleportation. Uh, the Emperor's Throne, let's teleport. Where is this place? This is not my father's chambers. <laughs> <laughs> you have disobeyed me for the final time, Scarlet. Is that our main antagonist here? The Tower of Eternal Solitude. Oh, gasp. Oh! Huh, the old fool did not notice I am wearing my jetpack. Well, in all honesty, neither did I. Can we use the jet? Oh, we got jetpack fuel. Mr. Usage. Jump. Wait. Wait. Use booster. Survive deadly fall. Okay, I'll take your advice. Uh, use spacebar to jet. Uh, use jetpack to hover. There is limited fuel per jump. Use the hover just before landing. All right. Ouch. <laughs> I survived. <laughs> oh. Vertical ray gun. I can only imagine that it's used vertically. As exemplified by this particular sequence. So I wonder when the actual tower... I mean, the name is called the Tower of Deadly Monsters, so I wonder. I wonder. When we'll finally see this tower. Okay, let's jump down. And... Landed that mu Oh! Enemies coming from below. Totally different type of enemy now. Oh no! This is gonna be great. I've never played Space Invaders vertically. But this is kind of what it feels like. We're good. What is this? Nothing. Anything around here? No, I guess we'll just have to jump down. That was about it. Oh yeah. And checkpoint. We'll take that gladly. Oh. Oh, 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 what's going on? Oh. If I don't get a solid 10 hours a night, but they were at it forever eh, They had to redo it all because I accidentally told them red instead of blue the first time uh, Artists Curses my father revoked my access to the teleport terminal I shall only be able to utilize the ones I activate manually Guys, this is ridiculously stylistic. I I'm just, I'm sitting here smiling the entire time that I'm playing. Stuff like this just, 
it makes me so happy. One of my favorite places back home in Vancouver was the Stormcrow, which was this bar designed for nerds, and it was just all geeky references and 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 you know board games and. Sorry, bud. I don't remember what to do exactly. Oh yeah, teleporting console. Lipsy Daisy. So I'm here. Where do I want to go? We'll go here. Hey, Dick. Ah, I knew you would return. Puny Earthman, you shall help me overthrow the Emperor. Why would you turn against your own father? How do I know I can trust you? Oh, this scene. This is practically Shakespeare in outer space. <laughs> the entire planet does. And, uh, huh? Patrick, what's wrong with the video? Ah, uh, sorry, sir. Technical problems. Darn it, we're missing some really good writing here. Yeah, I can see that. There. Sorry about that. Well, we just passed right by her big scene. Basically, they agree to work together, but one must stay behind in the sleep chamber at all times. Should I rewind? Ah, uh, never mind. I'll oh, that's a clever plot device. So I can only play uh, as one or the other at, at... Well, I have to swap between them at sleep chambers. That's awesome. I'm totally enjoying- what? Did I get stuck? Yes, I did. Uh, this is awesome. Oh, okay, I see. I'm just dumb. Oh yeah. We should probably- there we go, we checkpointed ourselves. And you know what? Let's, uh, let's end this episode here, so thanks for tuning everybody. I hope you're enjoying the Deadly Tower of Monsters as much as I am. Uh, I'm your host, QED20, and of course, stay frosty.